Hi guys, welcome to the video and today I'll be <clears throat> I'll be showing you uh how to make a monkey grab script. If you don't know what I mean by that, it's like when uh no monkey grab script with physics actually. If you don't know what I mean by that, it's just a monkey grab script, but it works with physic physics. Um this is just a dodgeball script, kind of. Um I'm gonna make another video on that. This is literally just this dodgeball script, but you could check and uncheck the throw force so you could have it so when you grab it and you let go there is it does not get thrown it just falls or you could have it whenever you pick it up you could kind of throw it so yeah i'll be showing you how to make one of those um first you're gonna you want to need easy inputs you're always gonna need easy inputs for this um uh you do not need photon like at all you all you need is a gorilla rig of course and you're gonna want to make a sphere switch it uh, over here make it the size you want I'm gonna make it 0 0.5 cuz that's a good size uh, you do uh, you uh, the layer could be non collidable if you don't want if you want it to like when you throw it it won't really do anything you don't need non collidable on this but I just have it on just in case like just in case it'll do anything I just have it on there for no reason uh, you're gonna want to get the scripts from my discord I'll be in this one right here, if you could see all these scripts, under scripts. In my Discord, the Discord's in the description, and the script should be in this one. If it's not in this one, just wait. And if the Discord's not in the description, uh, look in one of my other videos. And you're going to want to get Monkey Physics Grab. And your left hand, of course, is going to want to be, uh, your left hand's going to need to be your left hand. Right hand's going to want to be right hand. Your grabbables is the thing you want to grab so basically drag itself on it your no this is the confusing part your nozzle uh you don't, you could have this on or off by the way if you want to throw it this you turn this on on off if you want to throw it so i'm gonna make this so you can throw it the nozzle you can make anything you can make it the way your hands facing or anything if it's not going the right way and you uh want it to, to get thrown the way you're looking at it make your main camera the nozzle your throw force could be really anything. I'll make it five for this. Your line renderer is kind of useless. It just helps with the directional thing. You just could drag that in. Um, if you want to make it so it shows the way it's getting thrown. Uh, you're going to want to press this one. If you can see that one right there. And you'll be confused. You're like, what the heck? Why is it all the way down there? If it's all the way down there like that, uh, if there's like a weird thing down there, just press great points. And then boom. You should, it should be like that. If it's doing something like that and you can't figure it out, uh, I'm not going to be showing you how to really make it because it was kind of hard for me. If you can't figure it out, just, just add one and then disable it. It's not really that hard. And uh, that should be it. This should be it. Uh, sc uh, 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 credit me in the video. Because I did make this. Why is it not falling? Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not done yet. You, you, do, I'm stupid. You do need a rigid body. You need a rigid body, okay? The mask, you can make anything. It does not matter. Any of this, I just say you don't change it doesn't really matter if you do you just don't change it it might break stuff now if you could see let me just load into a photon lobby if you could see uh it has physics and when you when i grab it boom it's in my hand and then i press the press the top trigger to grab it so, like the top one, the one on the top, the top, the trigger on the top, press that to grab it. And then press the bot, the one on the bottom, like the one on the bottom of your controller, to throw it. He, uh, here's a cool thing about it, too. Here's some cool facts about it. You don't need to know this. But, uh, you could also have it. So, you could, it, this, this script also makes it. So if you press the, the trigger on your left hand and your right hand's closer, it grabs it with your right hand. And if you press the trigger on your left hand, it, it still throws it. So any of your triggers really throw it and grab it. 
doesn't really matter. If you could also see, I have my hand that way, my head's looking this way. It still goes that way. Um, I'm, I'm gonna disable this, this right here. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Whenever you have that off. So I throw it, and it just falls. So it's not really doing anything. If you could see, uh... If you steal the script and decide to make a dodgeball video, uh, yeah, I have way more things than you. Um, I'm not done with the dodgeball thing. I am done, but I don't have a the actual mini game. so, like, when it hits you, like, kind of kills you or whatever. I don't have that, like, at all. So, yeah. Uh, here's some sneak peeks. If you can see, you could read it. Uh, look, more new cosmetics. The water cave. Dodgeball. Yeah, I was gonna add a moon, but it's glitching out. Um, here's another thing you could, uh, here's another fact. Just don't stop watching the video, but here's another fact. Um, why is it like that? Uh, if you add multiple spheres with the same things on it, it won't glitch out the game. But it'll actually do something very cool, which I like in my opinion for, like, dodgeball. So if you know, uh... Dodgeball, you can only hold like one ball, but in this one, when you could grab multiple, so boom, it looks like I have one because they're all the same material, of course. And I throw it, you can see I shot out those. And if you hold the trigger while throwing a bunch of them, if you hold the trigger while throwing a bunch of them, it only throws a couple, but of course, it doesn't work with the last one, but yeah, um. And that's how you make a physics grab script. I'm pretty sure this works with other things besides a sphere. We let me test it out. So, just in case it doesn't work, I could edit the script. So if I get a cube, add the physics grab script, add a rigid body, make this the grabbable. Uh, line renderer, uh, it's a line renderer, boom, disable it, line renderer, nozzle, main camera, left hand, uh, left hand, right hand, uh, right hand, okay, now when I start it, it should work, I'm just gonna add the layer just in case, it should work now, you do not need this trigger on the collider, Remember that you gotta remember that its trigger will break it and it'll make it fall through the floor. See, it does work with all objects, but if the object is too big, it will glitch it out sometimes. You could move the body with your the thing with your body, so sometimes it could you could fling yourself with it. You could kind of fly with it, which is kind of weird. I kind of hate that, but it is working. So, uh, I'm gonna be uploading the dodgeball script after this. Uh, it's kind of weird. It does not, the saying that the dodgeball script does not have it, so whenever you get hit with the dodgeball, it like kills you. You can make it like a new script for that, but I might make one. But whatever. Um, yeah, what is this now? I don't need that. What is this? No, I don't need that either. Okay, I don't know why I'm just finding random objects in my game. But, uh, like and subscribe. Um, oh wait, one thing I have to say before, uh, I upload this video. I did get on my most popular videos 325 subscribers. Which is very good, thank you for that. Uh, uh, but like and subscribe. Um, uh, so we could get to like 100. Maybe that's my goal right now, it's 100. We're at 58 is very good when i went up to like 15 to 58 in like a matter of like two months which is really good for me uh sorry i haven't really uploaded but yeah like and subscribe bye